Yo, hello everyone. Do you have a Google site website and want to enable payments for your products or services? In this video, I will show you how to add payment to your Google site using the integrated Google Pay integration. You will learn how to set up a payment form connected to your Google Pay account and securely process payments from your customers. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience so guys for us now we will need an e-commerce website so i'm going to choose for example anything like a restaurant which will help us later on add the payment method into it so let's click on this restaurant website so as you can see here this is the restaurant this is the menu here like the title everything is good and here we have reservation and much more so now how we can actually add the payments method into our Google sites to do so guys we will need to have like an empty section for example like this one and I will drag an embed code to there but now we will need this embed code first so what is it now basically in case you didn't know Google site don't have the executable like button if I drag for example this button and I made it like a buy button it will not work as its own you really need an embed code from another app that will help you do the job so for example there is embed code from your PayPal, from basically a lot of applications for example let's try PayPal for now so guys as you can see this is the website that we are going to drag our embed code from so for PayPal, as I said let's click on widgets and here you will get some kind of uh, different kind of widgets. So here we have the PayPal button. So let's click on it. So responsive PayPal button widget for websites. So this is an example on how it's gonna look like. So here we go. Continue with this template. Um, I want it to be, for example, checkout. You can choose it to be a subscription or to be a donation. So let's keep it as a donation. Here, for example, set a payment email. So let's, for example, put this over here here we go and just like that let's click on add to website so here i'm going to continue with my gmail account and just like that they will give me the embed code so let me just publish it select and now i will copy the code go to my restaurant here and let me just do this embed code paste it next and here it is how it's gonna look like then click on insert and here we go we have now a payment button on our site Google so now we can edit it paste it in the middle you can here edit the code itself if you know what to do what you are doing um, you can create other sections and put the same code below them or inside of it uh, here you can move the code as you can see here um, as you might see and if I click on publish so here we go let's give a website a name for example site.google publish and let's try to see it so here we go publish settings view publish publish sites and let's go all the way down so if I click here normally it shall take me to PayPal to donate to the email that I have chosen uh, before so as you can see the organization is currently ineligible for to receive donations because my email is not really for donations but yeah overall this is how it looks like share your love buy me a coffee so this is a donation uh, if you'd like to have for example uh, let me just uh, delete this delete widget and let's make it a checkout button so let's do the same thing check out uh, let me just uh, okay let's do this once more go to the main page um catalog e-commerce and paypal button here let's go with with checkout continue product name for example iphone x and here the seller which is my email as you can see gmail.com and finally here you should put the price in usd so you can choose even here the currency let's keep it like that uh, shipping price let's put for example ten dollars and let's keep it like that finally click on publish 
and then do the same thing. You just have to go and then copy the embed code that you will find. So here you can just click here, copy the embed code, copy code, and then let's do the same thing. Embed code, next, insert, and here we are. Now we have a buy button, buy now with PayPal. So if I click now on publish, got it? And then let's refresh this. What are we going to find is, let me just reload this. Um, Reservation, publish. Okay, let's go down. Let's check if it is there. All right. Your site has been published successfully. So let's refresh. Let me just remove this like that. Cookies. And let me just remove all the cookies that I have. So here we go. Normally, it will pop up here. So buy now with PayPal. So now if I clicked on it, this is iPhone X. I have to pay it with 9.99 and I will buy one quantity. So click on continue. Then I will have to put my PayPal email information and then I will get to pay to the one who buys for me. Oh, so and before we get to finish with this video, guys, I'd like to show you kind of a brief about what people are saying about the e-commerce and how you get paid through your google sites as an example here you can mention and see this google site with e-commerce so here there is someone who's asking if anyone had any success using google sites for e-commerce and here are the answers as you may see so people are not really recommending google sites for e-commerce uh oh your current site looks great so in my opinion uh, as they said, uh, here the buy now should definitely be a link. You should be able to resize the embed code to whatever size you link. There is a maximum width of uh, 1280 pixels. But yeah, this is basically what I showed you guys in this video, which is the buy now button through PayPal. Uh, I looked at uh, this website and couldn't see it as small as it is. So make sure, guys, as well, that you do the same thing. So make sure you make the button as big as possible so people can actually see it. Here, there is another one so if you are only selling a handful of items like less than five then for now you can use uh, POR, uh, P -W -P -O -W -R, which is like set up a free account with obvious options to pay for more content etc and embed the coding into your google site which is this one is basically another platform that offers the same things that i have showed you with uh, elf sites which is the button of paypal these platform will show you and give you the same options so it is just variation of options of platforms so you can go with whatever you'd like and the difference of the pricing so in case you'd like to see the pricing you can check it out and check which one offers the best pricing if you are of course going to make more than five products if you are going to make less than that well if sites as i showed you is the best at the moment and yeah guys that was pretty much it i hope i got you a bunch of information so you can get started with uh, here you are uh, having like all the options between your hands so it is a kickoff start for you to do whatever button you'd like and use whatever platform you have in mind so thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial